After we have received the word of God, people will be amazed. You will never be on fire for God until you decide, I want to be on fire for God. Because it is not enough. On a relationship with Don only on a Sunday. Follow your vision. Follow your dream. Follow God in your life. He's an amazing man. Now, when I speak about the seed time and the harvest time, I want you to think about four things in your mind. So I said your thoughts, and I said what? Your weight. Number three, the weight of God. The word of God is the seed. In this way, I can take this word, he'll receive it, he'll it, call it, he'll embrace it, he'll find a in his way, and in the West Card, it will bear fruit. Testimonies are the result of the word that you have received most of the time. There are testimonies, alele, no matter the result, alele, actually, how much of the word you have sown into your heart. Praise the Lord. And I will show you from the scripture. Number four, your offering. Not your tithe, your offering. Tithe is not a seed. Tithe is not a seed. Tithe, tithe. There is a series that I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, it talks about the blessing attached to each and every type of offering. When you read your Bible in the Old Testament, there were more than 12 types of offering. More than 12 types. Go and study the book of Leviticus. More than 12 types of offering. There were different types of offering. And all these offering, wow, no sevens, wow, when it's supposed to sound, if you mix this offering, still results won't come. God will tell you, my wife say, oh good, this is the type, no more thing, this is the type of the offering you give. If you want this type of results, or if this is the type, go and study yourself. Not every offering will give you the same results. Not every offering has the same blessing. Now when you don't know those things, listen, let me show you this. How many doors do we have in this room? One, there are two up in my office. There are three, there are four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine doors. One house. But every door has got its own key. Ninguna one. It, it's one building, but it has got nine doors. Jobina, nine doors. That means there are nine keys. And, and, and if you figure the Pemnyango, Signiga is a Lenuabayabo key, and you are using the wrong key, we are there, you know, we stress, we frustrated, Abu Fuleg, Ngoba, Uki, Kona, Kotu, Seben Suki, all wrong. West Kappa, Essi, wrong. Find the right key for every door. So when I, when I will be teaching on that, I will be showing on that. Because there are many people who are stressed, frustrated. Others are even angry at God. Others are even angry at pastors. This thing is not working. No! You are using the wrong key for the wrong door. We ask you to fun up to seven secure wrong. So you need to know on which door, if I want this, which door, which key must I use for that door? If I want to go there, which go back? In the king, see we kingdom, gentlemen, can see we see we kingdom. And who chairs more from the Bible? Who tell, I give you not the key. He said, I give you the keys of the kingdom. So the keys of the kingdom are in the way. So we are already given the keys. Our word is to know the right key for each and every door, so that we can be able to use those keys to enter in each and every room. God doesn't want you to enter into the room of salvation. 
He doesn't want you to enter into the room of healing only. He doesn't want you to enter into the room of peace. He also wants you to enter into the room of wealth. He wants you to enter into the room of increase. He wants you to enter into the room of greatness. Somebody say greatness. greatness. Sometimes we still pray wrong prayers. Oh, Baba Nkosu Anshi. It's wrong prayer. No matter how desperate you are in the situation that you go through, it's a wrong prayer. You are praying for something that has already been done. All what you are supposed to say, thank you, Lord. Because it's the God of His will. But you have to stand firm in the way. Stand firm in the way. You are not patient enough. But another person on a revelation. Oh my niggas so same thing when we come to God. Sometimes we come to God looking for ever ready results. Something else of figures in your push. But God will always help you with the seed. When you neglect the seed that God is giving to you, you are neglecting the future, you are neglecting the harvest, you are neglecting what God has prepared to you. God will always give you things in the form of a seed. Never forget that. If God is going to bless you financially, he is not going to give you millions, but he's going to give you a seed. If great, he will give you a seat to serve in his house. If God is going to help you, he's going to give you the seat which is his weight. Hallelujah. It was the devil stealing the weight. This and that. Hi, hi. to get a tetan. And He's waiting for you. I'm too hot. I'm too hot. I'm a ice law so not enough to make me cold. I'm too hot. The word of God is like fire within me. Oh, hallelujah. If you're not yet born again, we invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying this prayer. Dear God in heaven, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge that I am a sinner, for I am in need of your forgiveness. I believe that your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, shared his precious blood on the cross of Calvary and died for my sins. For your word says, if we confess with our mouth and believe in our hearts that God raised Jesus from the dead, we shall be saved. I confess with my mouth and my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. 
I accept Jesus Christ as my own personal Savior. And according to his word, right now I am saved. If you had said that prayer, congratulations and welcome to God's family. God bless you.